on Funreal. Have you ever wondered, what was it like to play Carnivorous during the early years of the game life cycle? No? Me too. That was until today. Carnivorous is admittedly an old game. It's already well past 20 years since the first iteration of the game release. In this video, we're going to go way back into the past and hopefully experience what it's like to play the game during its early years. My primary objective is to download a virtual machine and run carnivores on it. But first, we are going to need a few things for the video. We'll need to pick a carnivores game archive. Then, we need our preferred window ISO. Finally, we will need a software to host our virtual machine. For this video, I'll try Windows 98 for the job, as it's the most authentic experience. Presumably, I'd also try to get the original Carnivorous 2 ISO and maybe some nostalgic mods too. I'd also like to try and watch my own videos on a web browser if possible, but that's only the extra. three components ready, I started my work. First, I had to configure my specs for the virtual machine. For this instance, 256 megabytes will do me just fine. Next, preparing the ISOs was no big deal. It's just a matter of clicking some buttons. I then proceed to continue setting up Windows 98 after some formatting. Now, the setup takes a good while to get some progress going, but there is a major issue. Windows 98 is ancient, meaning it doesn't necessarily like to rub shoulders with newer hardware. After getting a shell 32.dll error, I was effectively softlocked into the setup. Distraught but not dismayed, I tried my luck with Windows XP. I figured since it's only a few years younger than 98, it would still be fairly authentic. Plus. Most Gen Z's are probably far more nostalgic with XP compared to 98. Here I am, back again at the configuration screen, ever more determined to make it work. This time around, XP's configuration are far easier than 98. Whilst insignificant, it definitely spared me some headache. As for specification, I set the RAM available to 1GB alongside 5GB of virtual disk storage. It should be more than enough to run any Carnivorous game. Continuing on, I am now at the setup. A lot of the setup is just nothing more than a waiting game. As such, I will speed this up for you. It's around this point where I finally have a real glimpse on Windows XP. After plenty more of waiting, it finally finished. It doesn't take long before I was sucked into nostalgia as I hear the heavenly sound of Windows XP booting up. There I had it, Windows XP in 2024. At least the operating system works fine, so now it's time to start exporting Carnivorous. For this, I will be using Carnivorous Reloaded as it's the oldest mod I currently possess. Unfortunately, I have to archive it into a zip file first before chucking it into the virtual machine. Alongside that, I also chuck a copy of Windows version 6.02 in order to access my Carnivorous archive. After a while, I was able to export the game folder safely. And there it is, Carnivorous reloaded ready to be played. A quick shortcut later and... oh. After sorting that out, I finally get a real chance to play Reloaded. Before we start any shenanigans, I also installed Firefox browser. Then I changed my background. Note that I love Blaze as a wallpaper, but Crystal resonates deeper with me. Now, we're finally testing Carnivorous out.
I tried to run the game with Direct3D mode, but without proper DirectX component, it just couldn't work. This leaves me with one option, to go back into software mode. Thankfully, Reloaded does come equipped with a patch software mode. While it still looks pixelated, at least it's by no means unplayable. Here I am about to get my first doll. It's a moderately sized Velociraptor, and I did put up quite a fight to take it out. Now, we still have two more objectives to fulfill, watching my own video on the virtual machine and getting the original Carnivorous 2 ISO file. After booting up Firefox, I served myself into YouTube.com. Unfortunately, the video just didn't feel like playing itself, so we'll have to skip that part. For the latter, I ripped a copy of Carnivorous 2 ISO from my abandoned web.com into the virtual machine. Success was on my side as it installed with zero errors popping up. Here is Carnivorous 2 running in software mode on a 20 year old operating system. Apologies I couldn't make it run on Windows 98. Maybe if I'm more computer literate in the future, I'll give it a try. Anyways, that is just it for now. This has been a fun project and I wish to see you all in December. Uh, also, I'll be doing a Q&A session on my community tabs, so be sure to check that out. As always, take care everyone.